What is up my embers? Welcome. <laughs> I'm already laughing. What is up my embers? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, girl. My name is Jade Amber. I love all things pink, girly, girl talk, mom life, vlogs, anything like that. That's what my channel is about. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video, girl. Today's video is gonna be a juicy, juicy girl talk video and I'm super freaking excited. I have some of y'all's responses right here on my phone. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me just girl talk like topics that you'd be too scared to ask ask someone because I know some of you guys aren't comfortable asking certain people certain questions and it's anonymous and you can ask me and you're comfortable asking me so if you want to stick around for the juicy questions girl let's just go ahead and get right into this video I seen one that I was already like ooh, I need to answer that the first question is is it weird your ex childhood best friend is best friends with your ex and they say you switching up by not being friends with her personally for me my loyalty runs very deep with people and it's hard to say because I don't really know the context of y'all's relationship if your friend your ex childhood best friend is friends with your ex and they've already had a friendship like I guess that's one thing but at the same time I feel like considering it's your whole entire ex they have to take that into consideration a little bit because I personally have been in that situation multiple times I think it's weird I think it's weirdo behavior but that's just me I'm a little dramatic and I my loyalty just runs runs deep so when people do weird stuff I'm just like ew that's weird and I don't think it's weird that you cut her off because it's crazy because normally in situations like that if the roles were reversed they would feel some type of way also but it's just like especially if your ex did you dirty and your ex best friend is just doesn't care about that like like you can be acquaintances with them but you don't have to be active friends and I've had a situation where one of my old friends was like actively hanging out with one of my exes after he did some really grimy grimy stuff to me girl but anyways yeah I think it's weird I don't think you should feel bad. You should cut off toxic people, people who don't genuinely care about you, who people who don't have your best interests in mind just don't need to be in your life. They don't care about you, so you shouldn't care about them. And it is hard and it does suck, but it is what it is, okay? We can't keep these negative, nasty energy people in our lives because it just brings our vibration down. And I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it just shows you who they really are and you don't need people like that in your life. Question number two is our blood clots during a period normal because, and then she put three puking emojis they are very very normal girl don't feel alone blood clots are super normal it is nasty but i mean it is what it is we're girls it happens a lot of blood that has to come out on your period and i don't think you should think it's nasty because i mean we're bleeding regardless so it shouldn't really matter but i've definitely experienced them i know a lot of girls who experience blood clots and i mean it's just a part of life it's a part of the female anatomy it's really nothing to be ashamed of and you shouldn't beat yourself up over it because it definitely is super normal there's nothing we can do about it question number three is do you think period kitty is supposed to smell i'd be paranoid that's what she said so the thing is like you're literally shedding blood out of your body and sometimes like especially if you're wearing a pad it's sitting there on like a piece of fabric tissue and it's just when you're moving around you know like you're sweating also on that tissue and all this other stuff there's obviously gonna be a little bit of a smell when you're on your period especially a really irony smell your pad if you wear pads pad Personally, for me, tampons, I haven't noticed a smell, but pads, for sure, you're gonna you're gonna have a smell, especially if you like waited too long to change your pad or something like that. And before y'all go commenting that this is nasty or whatever, if you're not mature enough to have this conversation, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video anyways. But I'm gonna leave that there. We're bleeding out of our our cooch. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not gonna smell like flowers and roses and all this other stuff. But I don't think it should be like a crazy crazy smell. But it is gonna smell like iron or if you're wearing a pad and my smell a little bit but it shouldn't like be like I feel like you shouldn't be able to just smell it like if you're moving around you shouldn't be able to just smell it but if you're going out of your way to smell it I feel like yeah it's probably gonna smell like a beer <laughs> this is so funny okay so question number four is do your nipples grow hair too I personally don't get a lot of hair on my nipples but occasionally I will see like one long hair and I will literally rip it off I will literally rip it out but I mean like I don't know if you've ever seen a guy's like they're hairy everywhere and I mean it is like we are literally human beings. Like, it's perfectly normal. Just like we grow hair in other places everywhere too, girl. Just take take it and rip it out or something or I don't know or just shave it off that's what I do like literally um but I haven't experienced like really hairy nipples or anything but I have experienced like a single hair right there what are we gonna do like it just grows there just rip it off and get it out and just get it over with but it's normally not something that like I tend to notice yeah it's just like occasionally I'll be like oh <laughs> it's there 
plink and then it's gone quick little video intermission i want to say thank you to lalo for sponsoring this video today we are going to be talking about the lalo ida wave and girl all right girls it is actually pronounced the lalo ida wave if you're looking for something to spice up your summer girl, the Lalo IDA Wave is the perfect thing for you. This special vibe right here, if you know what I'm saying, literally can connect to your phone and you can change the settings of this through your phone. So depending on at what point you're at in your little journey, you know what I'm saying? You can change the speed, you can change what kind of vibration you want, everything like that you can do with the Lalo IDA Wave, which I have never heard of before. It is also perfectly designed to fit the female anatomy which I think is amazing but if you're anything like me and you live alone and you know you want to spice things up sometimes I think this is the perfect thing for you it could be your little gift for the summertime girl because sometimes living alone can get a little boring let's be honest and I also think it is super important to really make sure that you are buying quality toys when you do buy toys because it is really important and you want to make sure that you're getting safe and effective toys at that and I think Layla does a great job at doing all of the above they're such good quality they're just so different like it really will spice up your bedroom girl and some of y'all were telling me in the video that you needed help in the bedroom and that you wanted to spice things up a little bit and I think the Layla IDA wave is the perfect way to do that girl she looks like summer she is summer she could be your little bestie this summer so if you guys are interested and the Lalo IDA wave make sure you go check out that link in the description box down below I promise I wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction this was the perfect toy to bring in this video because we cover all of these topics and you know over here on my channel you are more than welcome to feel comfortable and this is nothing to be ashamed of it's a part of our everyday life and women should not have to be silenced about their intimate life let's just get right back into the video and thank you so much Lalo for sponsoring me. okay question number five is would you recommend a rebound after a breakup absolutely Absolutely fucking not okay no rebounds after a breakup what you need to do after a breakup is realize that you need to be alone for a little bit because there is no way in hell that that relationship after the relationship you just had is going to fix anything make you feel better it might make you feel better temporarily it might fill a void that you been needing to fill because you're hurt after your last breakup but I promise you it is not the right move you're gonna end up getting hurt even more you're gonna end up settling because you can't see clearly Clearly, like you know like when you start talking to someone everything seems like all peaches and cream and then six months down the line you're like why the freaking hell did I even get with this person because I didn't give myself enough time to heal like you're not healed so you're not gonna be able to see things clearly feel things clearly and you're just gonna be looking to fill a void and it just gonna it's it's not good and this is coming from someone who has had rebound time and time and time and time and time again like like I've said in a lot of my videos I went from one relationship to another one relationship to another I always felt like I needed someone now I'm single I've been single for a while now and I promise you I know myself better than I ever have before feel so much better about myself I'm so much more confident because I'm not depending on someone else to validate me so hell no we don't need any rebounds focus on yourself work on yourself remember that in your next relationship you're gonna want to be treated the best you've ever been treated you don't want to keep getting hurt and everything like that so you need to treat yourself with that same respect you need to give yourself that same respect spend the time to pamper yourself and Anything that you would want somebody else to do for you, you need to be able to do for yourself. And that's just like happiness. If you can't make yourself happy, you cannot expect somebody else to bring you happiness. They should add on to your happiness, but they should not be the ones making you happy. Hopefully that makes sense. Question number six is found nudes in my boyfriend's phone. Good enough reason to break up or no? I think we both know the answer to that question, but also, I mean, it depends on like if he has been sent those like throughout y'all's relationship or if he has them from the last one. But if he had them from like before y'all were together, I would definitely just sit down and have a conversation with him. You know, evaluate why they were still in his phone if they knew that he was, they were still in his phone. Because if he knew, girl, no. Hell no. Because I know if I had a boyfriend, I wouldn't have other guys' nudes in my phone. Like, that's just a given. But also, men and women do think differently. So I think if you haven't noticed any other red flags with your boyfriend, maybe just sit down and have that conversation. Tell him it made you super uncomfortable. It's disrespectful. And he shouldn't have other women in his phone naked. 
so yeah okay i've gotten so many questions i think this is question number seven i've lost track i always do that but everyone keeps asking me like what is your kitty supposed to smell like how do you maintain your kitty all this other stuff and the first thing is you need to be drinking water because our bodies are 80 percent water and if you're not drinking enough water baby girl is suffering down there okay she needs to be able to breathe do not wear underwear at night if you can help it um obviously for under period please wear underwear it really just all comes down to like what you're eating who you're having intimate relations with and things like that i know personally i have experienced in the past when i am having intimate relations with someone and they have not been 100 percent faithful to me it threw my ph off time and time again and that is a sign that either your partner is not clean they're not cleaning themselves correctly so then it ends up messing you up and things like that but like now that i'm celibate and i haven't had any sexual relations or anything like that like I don't have problems down there at all but I in the past with certain people um I have experienced where it just seemed like every time I would do the do with them or whatever the case is like I would get a yeast infection or I would get other type of infections and it was just a mess because they were not being clean and they were not being honest with me and things like that and you just have to make sure that you have that communication with your partner and you let them know like hey this keeps happening to me because if you know you're doing all the right things I use a dove unscented bar of soap for my kitty because that that is personally what works best for me all of those vaginal washes are not good for down there the scented stuff is not supposed to be down there uh, some people say you can just use water i personally don't feel like water is good enough for me personally so i do use dove um soap but that's all i use down there and that's it and i don't like have any sprays or any lotions or anything that goes down there because things are not supposed to go in or around your lips or in your lips or anything like that or in the holes like nothing is supposed to be going in there and it is a natural cleansing process that our kitty does by itself so you shouldn't have to like spray perfume or anything to make it smell a certain way because at the end of the day it is a part of our female anatomy and it's not going to smell like chanel you know what i'm saying like it's not going to smell like flowers it's not going to smell like any of that but i don't think it should have a smell unless like you are in your period or something like that but for me like it shouldn't have a smell but obviously like maybe if you've had like a really really like physically labor filled day and you have worked really hard like you might be a little sweaty and there might be a smell there but I don't think that like there should be a smell to where you're like oh my god like like if, if you can notice it when you open your legs or when you go to the bathroom or something like that like it's probably a sign of infection but I'm not a doctor you should probably just go to your OBGYN and go get it checked out girl because I'm not a doctor I don't want to tell you guys anything that could steer you in the wrong direction or anything like that but I don't think that like a, a noticeable smell is really healthy but that's all I do I use Dove unscented bar soap I make sure that I let her breathe at night I drink a whole bunch of water I know some people take cranberry pills you can take cranberry pills I make sure to eat a lot of fruit and you can also take probiotics to help down there because we need probiotics so the next question is is it normal to have a lot of discharge down there and I think it just depends on you know what your anatomy is and how your body works but discharge is completely normal as long as it's not like a yeast infection discharge you'll be able to know because a yeast infection a yeast infection is going to itch like from hell like you have ants in your pants like it's so bad regular discharge should not itch and it's completely normal girl it's a part of our body flushing things out of our system and there's nothing to be ashamed of the next question was how to not get razor bumps and i also had a whole bunch of questions asking me on like how i shave and things and personally for me i have like a body conditioner from where is it from Olay. I just looked. It's from Olay. I heard that you can use baby oil and all these other things, but I have a body conditioner and I don't put it like down there, but I will put it on the surface, like right under your belly. I don't know what that part is called, but, and that's what I use. And you're supposed, I heard that you're supposed to, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I don't, I don't know like the, the actual way you're supposed to, but this is what I do. I will put the conditioner right there, not down like in between your leg. I'm trying to like censor this, but not down in between your legs, but at the top part, like the triangle part, you know what I'm talking about? I put conditioner and I shave down first to get off most of the hairs and then what I can't get, clean off my razor and then I'll go up. For instance, we're gonna use my makeup sponge. So, okay, so this is a razor, right? I have conditioner all right here, not regular conditioner. I use body conditioner and I don't put it anywhere near any of my holes or anything like that because that is just not good for your pH. Honestly, the body conditioner is probably not good either. I need to get baby oil or something but this is just what's been working for me so put, put the conditioner on top and you shave down first so shave down like with the hair the way the hair is growing shave down 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 
and then clean up your razor <clears throat> and then I go up and get like whatever's left and that's personally just what I do you know everybody's different and I don't really have razor bumps that much and I don't really get ingrowns yeah that's what works for me but it might work for me but it might not work for you someone said are women loved or hated by society and I think we all know the answer to that question the next question was what do you think about going commando I personally don't have a pro Oh my gosh. I personally don't have a problem with it. I just seen a video though on TikTok where this guy got chlamydia in his eyeball because some girl, because his towel had touched the bench. And apparently this guy like alluded to the fact that it was probably from a girl who goes commando at the gym. And I personally feel like, I mean, if you want to go commando, that's all you. But like, I personally would feel like discharged or like certain wetnesses at certain times, like in my pants. And that's uncomfortable. I guess if I'm wearing like tight yoga pants or something, like it wouldn't be too bad. But I don't, I mean, if you you want to go commando girl i don't it's honestly healthier for you anyways but it's just uncomfortable a little bit so i mean do you so i've had a lot of questions asking about people's intimate life um within their relationships and some of them said that they want to try new things some of them said that they don't know if they're doing things right and i personally just feel like if you are comfortable with your partner you need to sit down and have that discussion with them and just ask them do they like certain things just there things that you can improve on um if you guys want to take things to the next level you can come up with ideas and different things because at the end of the day like if you're going to be with that person a lot of years to live and if you want to have fun and experience certain things then go right on head girl but i think just having like open communication with your partner and just asking them and talking to them about things that they would want to try doing certain things the right way if they would want you to do them differently certain things like that like there's nothing wrong with communicating and sometimes i might even be wanting to tell you that you're not doing something the way they would that they would like or they think that you could get a little better or something but they don't want to hurt your feelings so i think you asking them is probably like the best option that is going to be the end of this video this video was so interesting i'm so so glad that I was able to answer some of you guys' questions and that you guys even felt comfortable enough to message them to me and be vulnerable with me so that I could answer your questions. I really, really hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys found any of this information helpful, make sure to give a little comment down below telling me that you like this video. Comment down below other videos that you want to see from me, girl. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I just want to thank you so much. Thank you for all the support that I get on my channel. I am so forever grateful for every single one of you. You guys are my Ambers. I love you guys so much. Um, and I truly would not be here without you guys. And I just cannot thank you guys enough from the bottom of my heart. I truly do love all of you. And yeah, like I always say in every single video, if you made it all the way to the end and end, like right now, comment down below a pink bow emoji. And I want to say thank you so much, Lalo, again, for sponsoring this video. It is a pleasure to work with you guys always. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video, you guys. And don't forget to check out the Lalo description box, girl, because some of y'all were talking about you wanted to get a little spice things up in the bedroom. And this is the perfect opportunity for that, okay? But that is it for this video. I love you guys so freaking much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.